Hello everyone, this is Chemdork and welcome to another Buildcraft video. Um, this video is going to be the first in a few type of videos that I'm going to be doing in which we're going to be doing experiments. We're going to be doing being scientists and doing some science with Buildcraft. Woo! Uh, well, not really true life science, but we're going to be doing some experiments with Buildcraft to learn a little more about in detail on uh, how things work with Buildcraft. And uh, we're not going to be going through, like, say, we'll pick a topic, maybe, and we'll, we'll kind of cover a little a topic in one of these episodes, and or maybe even a few topics. It sort of depends on what I sort of feel like, and uh, actually depends on what I need and I'm looking for in my LP. Um, but in this case, it's going to help us uh, learn about Buildcraft. This is what I sometimes do, and I figure uh, you guys might want to join in, too, and learn a, a little something yourself. Now, uh, today we're going to be talking a little bit about pipes, and specifically a few features of pipes. Now, I'm not going to go into, you know, the general stuff about pipes in terms of, oh, this is how many pipes there are about in Buildcraft, and this is how you use them, yada, yada, yada. No, we're going to actually look at specific aspects that are kind of beyond the basic concepts. Um, I might do another episode or so where I do look at basic concepts in a few of these, but... In reality, we're going to really get into the nitty-gritty and sort of start to look at uh, things we can use in Buildcraft in terms of the specifics of how things work. And, uh, you know, hopefully we can use some of those to our advantage. And just, just for knowledge and stuff that I haven't found in the wiki and I just haven't found in general out there anyway. Maybe it exists, but who knows? I haven't, I haven't actually looked at it. But let's just get down to it. So today we're going to be talking about pipes. But first... Um, uh, we're going to be talking about something that has been, uh, I guess, in the comments of a few of my videos, been going back and forth about uh, this doohickey right here. This sucker, the redstone engine. Um, a lot of you say that redstone engines don't explode, or they do explode, or they kind of explode, or they can't explode if they're doing work, or they do this and that and this and that and this and that. And, ah! Stop it! <laughs> um, I guess... I guess they're not supposed to explode, but maybe they are. I don't know. But this is a perfect candidate for our first experiment. Now, I know we're gonna. I said we're going to be doing pipes in this episode, but actually, first, I'd like to sort of include this with it. And uh, I've set up a bunch of scenarios here. There's actually five different scenarios that we're going to set up um, with varying levels of sort of determined to make things explode. Um, it's kind of generally foreseen that engines with something to do are less likely to explode than engines without something to do. So, for example, this redstone engine right here has nothing to do. If I turn it on, it's just going to sort of act as if it exists, but it's not going to go, um, you know, there's nothing for it to do. So if I turn it on, it's not going to actually pump because there's nothing for it to do. Uh, that's actually worse than, say, giving it something to work with, which is a wooden pipe here. It'll actually make it go up, make the piston part of the engine go up and down and uh, be doing work. I'm actually not sure if this counts as actual work, so I have set up right here a system where essentially it's just moving leaves back and forth between a bunch of chests, and uh, I could just switch this with a wrench, just so I have a constant stream of items going either this way or that way. And um, and then there have these two setups, which are almost in surely gonna, going to explode. In one case, the redstone engine is going to have something to do here by actually pumping, um, and in the other case, it's not going to have anything to do. This is this one's most definitely going to explode. The redstone engine will be just sitting there on, but all these engines will be powering it. This is sort of, sort of an extreme case. I want to make a redstone engine explode. So we'll just turn these suckers on. So this one turns on. You see the redstone current, but it again, it doesn't pump because there's nothing for it to pump. When you turn this one on, it, one on, it actually goes up and down. But, you know, there's no actual items passing through there, so I'm not really sure if it's going to be any different than this guy. And then um, we'll set up this one, which is most definitely going to explode. We'll actually give him uh, something to do, maybe. Uh, wait, 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 wait. We'll give him something. To oh, no, this one does not have anything to do. Right, okay, so that's the whole point. Uh, but I actually do want to make him turn. Come on, there you go, up, up right. And then uh, we're going to turn on these. Come on. So this is really going to get him to explode. Come on. There you go. Okay, everybody's on. And now there's this guy, which again will need to be configured. There we go. And got to turn on on his little friends as well. I'm pretty sure this one will explode as well, but uh, there's only one way to find out. Hopefully these obsidian walls will um, protect 
the neighboring experiments so it won't really disturb things. All right, so we'll just let those go while we um, mess with stuff. Sweet. Okay. So uh, there's a few different states of engine. Um, engine um, hotness, I guess. <laughs> I don't know. Heat, which is the blue state, which is cool engine. There's a green state, and then it goes to yellow, to orange, to red, and flashing red, and then, you know, they explode. So we'll see how far we get. And I'll just leave these on if... if one never explodes. I'm just going to leave it and keep coming back to it with every one of our little experimentation episodes. And, um, you know, I also use this world for general experiments that I don't record, so we'll see what happens there, too. Um, but now let's move on to pipes. And what I want to specifically look at for pipes was items traveling in pipes. Now let's go look at this. Um, uh, well, first, I just set up this very basic... Um, example. So I have redstone torches in this in this chest, a redstone engine underneath, wooden pipe going to stone pipes, and then into you know this chest here. And what I wanted to do was check to see, all right, if I just power this, pull it out with a redstone engine, how long does this item take to travel through these pipes? There is one, two, three, four, five pieces of pipe here. One is wooden and four stone. And it turns out, when I did this, and I'm not going to do this here, it's kind of a really boring exercise that I'm not going to bore you guys with, but it's about five seconds per section. That's kind of what it works out to be. It's a, it's a rough estimate. I think it's actually a little less than five seconds per section. It might be around four and a half seconds to five seconds, somewhere around there. Um, but that's basically what I found out. It's pretty reliable. And um, it's pretty standard type of speed. As long as there are sort of un, um, unboosted items, I suppose I should say. The slowest speed, the sort of default slow speed. This is the same for pipes. Basically for all the pipes, generally, that you can see. There's no sort of speed increase in general if they're going at the lowest speed. That minimum speed is pretty much always the same. Uh, incidentally, I have no idea what this is. Not a clue. Um, I'm sure you guys could probably tell me, and I'm sure the wiki might be able to tell me, and other things might be able to tell me, but I have no idea. <laughs> Never seen that. Um, but anyways, uh, so th this test I was using to sort of figure out what um, uh, different speed, if these pipes sped anything up. Um, it turns out, actually, that when you do this, though... So even though these are, these should have exactly the same... Um, I'm at, Oh, crap, there's no... There's nothing in here. Damn it. Is there anything in here? Good. Okay, there's one more left. All right, so when you do this, I want you to pay attention to what happens here. It actually turns out that there's a difference in speed, but when you reverse these two, uh, there isn't. So, okay, so this one disappeared just before this one. Um, ah, crap. I didn't mean to do that. Uh, I actually mean to do it this way. Oops, oops, oops. Actually, yeah. Okay, so they're both stone pipes now. Uh, let's give them coal again. And this, I think, is just a Minecraft thing. Oh, I see I, I see green. I see green. Just, by the way, let's let's go ahead and look at our redstone engines. Uh, green, green, green. So you see, these two are green. This makes sense. And of these three single engines without being sort of boosted by other engines, the one not having any work to do is green now. The other two are still blue. So, interesting. Um, but let's get back to this. Let's turn this on again, do one stroke of each engine. And yeah, let's just check it out. Ah, crap, it's almost time for me to sleep here again. And just watch this, we'll see which ones disappear first. Yep, see, this one disappeared just slightly before this one. This is actually a Minecraft thing. So if, be careful when you set up any of these types of things. Um, redstone should travel, in all honesty, the same speed between this side and this side, but there's actually a difference. I think it probably has to do with the coordinate system, essentially, in terms of how things are calculated, and um, yeah, it's something along those lines. Uh, I don't really know, but uh, there is slight differences. So, so that's that. Um, so great, the speed is about five seconds per segment of pipe. Um, it's a good general number, but it's actually probably a little less. Uh, and then there's always the idea that you can use these gold pipes to extend um, or to speed up things, and it's known that uh, uh, 
cobblestone pipes don't speed up things as much as stone pipes. So if I push this button here, I think I still have some stuff. Yep. So if I push this button here, we pump out one, one little item, travels along, and um, actually this top one is ahead by about a tick or so, uh, but that's fine. But if you just kind of look to see where things stop, you see immediately the speed, the maximum speed, is actually higher in the stone pipe. And add something around, mm, I'm going to say like 19. It looks like 19 segment on the 19th segment. If you count uh, one segment one as the first pipe beyond the gold, at about the 19th segment is where the cobblestone item slows down uh, to back to normal speed. But it's not a instantaneous slowdown. It's kind of a, a gradual slowdown. So, um, you know, in terms of effective speed, whoops, let's see. I like to think of effective speed. When would I reboost in a cobblestone pipe? Let's see. Do 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 do. Maybe I should have made this right here. Take a little shorter time. Okay, let's see. I might reboost at around ten, just to be safe in a cobblestone, just to keep it at the max speed. What about in the stone pipe? Okay. Let's get there. Come on. You can do it. There we go. Okay. So, let's see. It's difficult to calculate speed in these because the speed's changing constantly. So, it's keeping going. It's 25. This is 30. This is 35. I'm just seeing when it's going to be reaching this speed, which is basically the slow, slow speed. Looks like it's still a little faster, still a little faster, still a little faster, still a little faster. About the same speed right here. So that's 35, 36, 37, about 38. 38 blocks before it reaches completely back down to normal speed. All right, let's go ahead and see in the stone pipe when I would reboost in order to be essentially at a really good speed. Now this is kind of subjective, this part. So maybe we'd say about 10 blocks of, of boosting before I might reboost in a cobblestone. And stone, that's 15. 20, uh, maybe actually about 20, so maybe about double. It's really kind of subjective, though. So, okay, that's good to know. That's kind of something cool. Um, and now I have an interesting thing that I was thinking of, and that is, all right, so here's, a, we know it's about five seg seconds per segment of pipe, and I laid out a section of pipe here that is uh, equivalent to about six minutes long. A little more than six minutes long. And I've kind of marked every 12 pipe segments at the minute marks, which is around where it should be. Uh, remember, this is, kind of, this is kind of general. Those half seconds, maybe, per each uh, segment of pipe do add up. So this is actually a little longer than what it, what it means. But what we're going to do is, you see there is a piece of glowstone here. And there's a piece of glowstone in my hand. And I'll just, once I push this button, there's a delay. It'll push out this uh, pump. And then... At the same time that the item leaves this chest, I'm going to throw out this glowstone item. Because what I want to see here... Come on. So we're going to try to get a good look at this. And boom! Okay. So we threw it out at the same time. I'm going to leave that glowstone on the ground. Now we know that items in Minecraft despawn after five minutes. Ooh. Check it out up there. Um... So I want to see, will this item despawn after five minutes? So we'll let this go for a little while and get over here to our redstone engines because it looks like we might have explosions soon. Oh, yeah. Okay, so this is interesting. Um, again, that engine of the single engines, un, sort of unpowered, supercharged engines which are over here, uh, the one without doing any work is uh, at the orange state, I guess. And these two are still at the green state. The ones that are really pushed by all the other engines are now, um, this one's at the orange state, matching that. And this one's at the red state. This one's getting close to exploding. Um, flashing red is where it, it, it's really close to exploding, but the flashes only happen in the flashing red state when it's pumping. So I don't know if you can even see flashing red when it's uh, not pumping like it is in this, in this guy. 
So uh, we'll we'll check it out. We'll see what happens. But um, yeah, nice. Oh, huh, wow, we actually were here for it. Cool. So that one actually exploded. All right. So red um, redstone engines can explode, guys. It's an extreme case, but it can explode. So I'm really interested in seeing if a single redstone engine that's not extra boosted ever explodes. We may not see this happen this episode. It may never happen, but it's going to be, you know, I'll keep this running until uh, until I see something. If it never explodes, it never explodes. Yeah. Okay. But anyways, uh, let's see how our item is doing, and I will most likely uh, go ahead and time-lapse this episode. Or, I'm sorry, time-lapse this portion of the episode so that you don't have to see me here just um, watching an item for a few minutes on end. Yep, so there's our piece of glowstone still there as we threw it on the ground. And uh, I'll kind of stick right here, maybe, uh, because five minutes should be right around here. And, yeah, we can see the glowstone. Oops. We can see the glowstone. Yeah, there it is. Okay, it needs to be in spawn range. So we'll just get a good look at it and uh, watch this item come down. So I'll time-lapse this and uh, see you in a few seconds for you, but minutes for me. Okay, we're getting pretty close now to uh, item D spawn time. Oops, sorry. For that, uh, and because uh, you see at that sign on the right, once it reaches there, it's about five minutes. So keep an eye on the glowstone by the chest. See when that despawns, which should be any second now. Any second. There it goes. And as you see, our item is still in the pipe. And um, I've done this before, and I know for a fact that this thing sh will definitely reach the chest. No problem. It'll last six minutes, absolutely no problem. In fact, it'll last seven, eight, nine, ten, sixty minutes, thirty, sixty hours, it seems. Um, just, I have these things going. This is another sort of just recurring, consistent experiment that I'm just going to keep running forever. Um, basically, I just started these guys at the exact same time. I decided to have one loop where this um, item was continually boosted by the gold pipe, and one where it was traveling at its slowest speed. So this is essentially at its fastest speed, an item at its slowest speed. And I just wanted to see, you know, do they ever despawn from pipes? And thus far, no. And I've been in, like, um, okay, it hasn't been about 60 hours, but it's been a few hours at least uh, that I've been in this world. I've logged in and out a number of times, and it's still going exactly the same. So, um, yeah, I'm pretty convinced that items essentially never despawn from pipes. Uh, the only thing is I haven't gone a crazy distance away. So that might be something we'll try. Um, yeah, that definitely might be something we'll try. Ooh, this is that red. So this one might explode soon. Ooh, and in fact, we might see these guys explode. Oh, I better, I better shut these guys off. Whoops, I better shut them off. Whoops there. <laughs> yeah, shut off the ones that aren't... Uh, that are, uh oh, hey, this guy exploded too. Cool, okay, well, there we go, a lot of explosions, nice. Explosions are fun in Minecraft, even though these guys didn't explode, you know, a huge amount. But it looks like the uh, uh, the obsidian walls do help a little bit, too. Okay, so both of these that are doing work are now at an orange state, an amber state. This one is at a red state. I want to see if this guy, if he's not doing any work here, if he's going to explode. I kind of think he might. Um, and I feel like these two might get to that point eventually as well. So we'll see if that happens. Um, let's, uh, let's go to sleep here in Minecraft. And what I'm going to do is see if there's a distance despawn um, nature to these items in pipes. So I'll see if, if they respawn, if they despawn after I go past a certain distance. I'm going to go really far away. I'm just going to see if I can go, you know, really far that way. I'm just going to keep going for quite a while and see if they despawn. So right now we are at, okay, we are at X1304. Okay, this is the Z coordinate. Z, um, about 130, let's just say. And uh, I'm just going to go, so this is going in the positive direction. So I'm just going to go until I get to about 1,000 blocks away. Okay, so let's do that. Uh, I'll be back. Okay, this is actually about uh, 300 blocks away, so um, I can't see the thing anymore, it's straight ahead, 
I'm just going to get back there and we'll see if the items despawned. Okay, that was actually not exactly the right math, but anyways, uh, <laughs> the items are still there. So let me uh, let me do it again. Let me go a thousand blocks away. So uh, I'll see you when I do that. Okay, I decided to stop here. We are at uh, 1047 in the Z, and we started at about minus 130. So that's more than a thousand blocks away. A thousand blocks would be 870. So uh, let's go back this way. And, um, yeah, I didn't, I didn't turn off village spawning. <laughs> and uh, so we'll see if the items are still there. I'll meet you in a few minutes for me and a few seconds for you. Okay, we are coming up to the testing area here. The suspense is killing me. And I still see items. So, as it turns out, um, I'm going to go out on a limb here to say that items just don't despawn. This is also um, uh, evidenced by the fact that you can log out and log in, the items are still there, that sort of thing. Maybe if you go out really far, this happens, but I'm not about to do that, I just don't want to waste time doing that. So over a thousand blocks away, it's still items should be there. Um, so that's great, this is good knowledge, good knowledge. Um, nice, nice knowledge for you. Uh, but the thing is, using the um, timing of the items traveling through these pipes, I definitely thought that this could be useful, and you could create things like this little contraption here. Uh, this basically, just a redstone engine, um, goes through wooden pipe, pulls that out of a chest, an iron pipe, which is um, going between two different states because of this wooden pipe little trick, uh, which actually I'll show you here. Um, so normally iron pipes have this really cool functionality. If you control them with redstone, for example, in this T intersection, you can flip them from each uh, going one way through each of these states. And someone pointed out to me that um, I believe it was someone that commented in one of my videos. Uh, but anyways. Uh, Basically, iron pipes cannot deliver items to a wooden pipe. So, because the problem you have in here is when you have a T intersection like this, if you flip from state to state, on and off, on and off, you don't actually flip from one state to another state. You flip from, you just rotate amongst all the possible states. And it doesn't really work out too well if you would have an odd number of states and an even number of input uh, possibilities. So, it basically would keep on rotating and uh, you don't have any sense of um, being able to use this in a reliable sort of fashion. So if you want to have an either-or case where, okay, in a T-intersection you either go to the right or to the left, in this case all you have to do is switch this one section with a wooden pipe, and as you know this, this uh, out part of the, um, of the iron pipe will never go to the wooden pipe. So it, can, it either needs to go to the right or to the left, and so it just oscillates between those two states. So that's how you kind of control things with an iron pipe. Uh, very useful. Very useful to know. Uh, this is just an RS nor latch that I just made. Don't know why. Actually, I do know why, because I kind of forgot how to make the one that I love so much, which is this guy. Nice and compact. And um, But anyways, this is just a, uh, a loop, just like you saw over there. Just a loop with an iron pipe here. A, the state of the iron pipe is controlled by this RS nor latch. When you push that button, this one button, it uh, pushes this RS nor latch in the position it's in right now, which essentially powers this torch, which makes it into the uh, direction, its orientation it is right here. And uh, as you see, this thing that you see going on and off, essentially what happens is this item keeps on traveling, and for one quarter of this time, which is about 20 seconds, because it's about uh, four units, four times about five seconds is 20 seconds. Um, about every 20 seconds you have, or about every, actually it's uh, about every 15 seconds, you have a five second or so pulse of on, and then it turns off. And that's what this torch is showing you as well. Uh, because this is a gate, it's another feature of Buildcraft version three. Um, I'm starting to play around with things, and it allows you to decide to do something when events are happening, you know, on or in or around or near pipes. So uh, this is set to for when items are traversing through the pipe, you just send a redstone signal out. So this is kind of cool. You can use this actually as instead of a redstone clock, you can have a pipe clock. 
or um, you can have a pipe timer. You can have, you know, really kind of cool things that work with pipes and build craft. And I'll be using a pipe timer, I think, with my, my tree farm once I get that re redone. And uh, I think, you know, even though the ERD circuit works very well for me and I like it, it um, this pipe timer sort of idea I think is going to work uh, pretty well because it's, you know, not really going to cause too much lag, I don't think. It's just items traveling through. And uh, it should be pretty reliable and a pretty easy way to set up uh, long periods of time if you're sort of clever with how you put position these gates, etc. So, um, yeah, I'll be using that in my world as well. Now, I think that'll pretty much do it for this episode, although I kind of want to see whether this engine ever does explode. Um, but I guess you'll have to wait for the next episode where we do maybe a little more uh, experimentation. Uh, I had plans for some other experiments to run, but uh, not in this episode. We'll be doing those in another experimentation episode. So, anyways, guys, thanks for watching, and uh, hopefully you learned something from this. Continue playing Buildcraft, and uh, continue sending some comments and suggestions on uh, other things to test in this little experimentation series. Alright guys, see you next time!